And the veterinary science community is racing to answer how this virus affects animals, including experts in Illinois. They help confirm the first case of COVID-19 in an animal in the U.S. CBS 2's Marissa Parra explains how it leads the discussion for what we do with our pets at home. A tiger at a zoo in the Bronx is the nation's first case of an animal with COVID-19. And among those who ran the tests were experts in Illinois. It was a huge, you know, stomach sinking moment for us. Stomach sinking because Malayan tigers like this one are critically endangered. Also because of what the scientific breakthrough could mean. Really worried us uh, about, you know, about not just the, the cats in our care within zoos, but also what, what does this mean for domestic cats? Officials believe Nadia the tiger got the virus from an asymptomatic zoo worker. So the question is, is it possible that one of us could do the same with one of our pets? At this point, we don't know. We think that, that domestic cats may be susceptible. Tigers and domestic cats are both felines, but they're also totally different species with different DNA. Let's put it this way. In the U.S., millions of Americans have pets. Over 400,000 have confirmed cases of COVID-19, and the number of confirmed cases in pets is zero. So it's looking like it's not a high chance, but because of the possibility and how quickly information changes, it's better to be safe than sorry. If you're sick, that in addition to social distancing from other people, that you also social distance from your pets. Try to see if somebody else can help you take care of your pets. And if for some reason your pet is showing symptoms after coming in contact with someone who has COVID-19, go ahead and call your vet. From The Loop, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Right, thanks to Marissa.